Right, so we should be live now. And it does seem that Facebook is way too, way too uh, much of a stable right now, or it is. Uh, oh my God, these words, man. I mean, they are always try to escape to escape my mouth. So it's much more stable than uh, than last night. Um, and it seems that we're gonna have our uh, our live today, one day in delay. That is, uh, which is going to be so the live is going to be about or the. Uh, the podcast is going to be about the sun in Cancer, and to see what kind of a um, experiences we as the star signs, or rather like which are uh, affected by certain star signs, are going to have. So, a um, few things I want to say before uh, we start the uh, we start the, the predictions. Uh, the first thing it is that from now on, all of the star signs are going to be picked up randomly. Okay. Hello, Donna. Hello, Nicholas. So all of the star signs are going to be picked up randomly. So there is, there won't be any longer, you know, start, starting from one star sign and uh, finishing with the other. I have them written, da written down on a sheet of paper here in this ball, which is uh, at my desk. And when I pick... I was just going to close my eyes, you know, and just pick a sheet of paper. And there, um, I'm going to see what star signs and what star sign I'm going to read about. And uh, the other thing it is uh, that the readings for the star signs are going to be in clusters. So four readings break, four readings break, four readings end. In every break and at the end, there will be one free reading. So pretty much when I reach a break, you uh, start asking your questions. One question is going to be picked up and is going to be performed a professional reading on that question. So if you do want a uh, free reading with me, that is the way you get one. You don't get one through just messaging me. You know, you don't get one by sending me an email. That is the way you do get one. Uh, <clears throat> Also, if you do want to support me, you can do so by just only sharing the stream. That it is all that it is required, okay? Or sharing my posts and those kind of stuff. That uh, does a lot to support me. And uh, pretty much, I think that that's that. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. So uh, tomorrow, uh, the um, major arcana tarot classes are supposed to start. I'm saying they are supposed to start because there won't be a live class. Uh, everybody who uh, purchased the service, they just require this, uh, requires it a, an archive, okay? just uh, record it. And uh, not everybody, one, uh, one girl didn't mind to get to be a, a live, but just for one person, it's, it's going to be a waste of time. So uh, I was thinking of, you know, how I can uh, transform the service so you know everybody is happy at the end and uh for a limited time i don't know for how long because i need my gut because the the service is going to be restructured okay as it's going to be recorded from now on and, and unless you know there is a specific number of people that wants to be a live one so the service is going to be restructured in such a way that if it fits recorded one but for now, uh, just in a limited time i don't know again for how long if you do purchase the um the major arcana course you get a 12 hours of content in terms of videos okay uh, that explains the major arcana and how to interpret them in various situations for example if the subject is looking for a relationship for example if the subject is looking for a job and etc etc every card is explained in a such a way uh, and also you know the spread that i'm using mainly for my readings is a major arcana friendly spread so at the end of that class uh, you, I, and I'm showcasing there as well. You can start doing your own readings, even though only with the major arcana, they are not less accurate as if you are using the uh, O78 as well. In addition to those 12 hours of content, you get a one hour personal coach with me, one time burn. Okay, so when you come for that hour, make sure you do come prepared. You don't get to, for example, use it like 10 minutes today, 20 minutes in a couple of weeks and so on and so forth. You listen to the lectures, you do, you try your own readings, you know, see what kind of gaps you do have and what kind of questions you do have, scratch, scratch them down on a sheet of paper or whatever, and then you come for the hour of, uh, of the lesson of the personal coach. <clears throat> oh, it came true. Well, Mila, um, I hope it was a good reading. 
<laughs> this is the only thing that I can say. Thank you so much for your feedback. So that's about uh, the uh, major arcana tower class. The minor arcana started successfully today. Uh, it was a really great, uh, great class, and that's why probably you can hear my voice a little bit fade out because uh, it's 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 stretched or rather like it's thinned out. In any case. Um, the other thing is obviously, you know, the private reading. So if you do want a private reading, go to my website. It is listed here into the, um, in the post. And uh, on the very front page, you're going to find all the list of my services as well. their pricing. So based on your budget, you can choose a service. And once you place your purchase uh, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you via email, giving you a uh, explanation or details how your reading is going to take place. Uh, Christine, uh, ans questions like that are going to be taken only in the break. So if you do want your question to be considered, please stay around up until I enter a break and then you ask your question. Same thing about um, Sharar. Uh, in which, oh, I'm sorry, Sharar, I did not um, read your question completely. So it's happening in Cancer. So the, the moon, the new moon is happening in, in Cancer, okay? Hello, Michele. Hello, Heather. So that being said, uh, before we start with the O12 uh, star signs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a collective reading. Okay, that is going to be a six card reading for the transit itself. So what kind of a transit that is going to be, you know, sent into Cancer. So let's uh, let's have a look. So the first card is going to show up the, can the transit itself, and uh, we do have the Ten of Wands. Moving next, the second card does represent the energies surrounding the, uh, the topic of the cycle here, or of the transit, and that is going to be the Six of Cups. Moving next, we do have the challenges that we all will have to overcome throughout uh, this one month period of time of this season. And that will be the challenge of the Nine of Swords. And I love that challenge, guys. That means that many of us will have to stand against things that we are afraid of, obviously. Next one is going to be in regards to the gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy. That are things that are pretty much granted to us, so we do have them in the bag, and that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Moving next, uh, we do have... Um... Hello, Angel. Moving next, we do have the way that people are going to accept us, or what kind of a personalities we are going to have throughout uh, this cycle. That is going to be the Hierophant. And the last one is going to be the guidance uh, that we should follow throughout the cycle, and that will be the Devil card. Uh, quite of an interesting reading here. So first of all, that makes an impression. It is the first couple of cards, which are the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. So the cycle itself and the energies that are surrounding the cycle. So it does look like that you are going to be busy with things we love to do. Okay. It's pretty much what those couple of cards are pointing. Ten of Wands as well points that we're going to try to do things more persistently in a sense of that if beforehand, you know, just the, um, how do you say it? Um, the procedure was something that was reposing us from doing a thing that we enjoy and that we like. Now that is not going to be the case. No, no different than, for example, that you are pulling yourself away from a, uh, we call it kolomaski, like, you know, when you get your uh, body hair off with a, uh, with a strip like, tsk, you know, and the procedure is repulsive, but at the end of the day, you know, you feel refreshed and you, 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 you feel nicer. So these things are not going to be a, a setbacks for us to do. And uh, that being said, we are to find ourselves very busy with our careers and with our relationship. 
uh, kind of like per perfectionalizing them. It is more like reaching a perfection into those fields that we are finding lucrative and productive. Additionally to that, the Ten of Wands, it's a nice card saying that whatever efforts we place, wherever we place them, there will be a, a reward at the end because at the end of the day, look at the guy, how he does struggle to keep up all that he worked for, right? And um, for that reason, it's very important for us to be focused on one or two things at the time because we won't be able to give an inappropriate attention to everything that is going on around us. Uh, in fact, we have to be pretty accurate with our, um, with our, uh, how, how do you say it? Uh, priorities okay uh, and we need to prioritize only the things that are kind um only the things that do really work for our life uh, because with the six of cups as an energy it does look like the majority of the enterprises we are to embark throughout this uh, throughout this cycle are going to be more or less say an enterprises that we would love to get involved in and that itself is going to lead us to the next one, which is the challenges that we will have to overcome throughout the cycle. And that is the challenge of what happens next. OK, so, uh, for example, if you have a person of interest and you are afraid to approach that person of interest because you are afraid of denial, that fear is no longer be there because what your standpoint is going to be that at the end of the day, you are going to at least know how you stand. And with the Ten of Wands at the first position, it doesn't look like that that person of interest is going to be your only person, person of interest throughout the cycle. So suffice to say here, the challenge is to understand that you do have nothing to lose by going by your instincts and by by going in generally with the things that you want to do. Uh, next one, it is about the gift and the blessing. Pretty easy card here with the seven of cups. So that cycle pretty much shields us from a utter failure, meaning that even if we do something really wrong, uh, uh, for one happy coincidence of the universe, the situation will disintegrate to a point where it is just a, a disappointment, okay? But from that disappointment, we can bounce back and actually redo things in this time, do them right. And additionally to that, uh, the Seven of Cups, which is a gift and blessing, also give us a, uh, a green light for to, if you will, to besiege some kind of brave dreams of our hearts, but that is a by a long shot once again, because if that's the case, those dreams are to be manifested in the distant future, not in the uh, not in the near one. Uh, moving next, we do have, um, hello, Angela. Uh, we do have uh, the uh, standpoint of the people, okay? This is how, uh, what personality of us is going to be around or what kind of a personality people are going to stray for. And that is the personality of the Hierophant. So everybody is going to be more like by the book type of individual. So if you do want to get two steps for the for the straight of one, for example, that is not going to be really a, a, a valuable option for you, for me or for anybody. That being said, for example, if you do want to impress your boss, you do not impress your boss with some kind of cocky moves or bold moves, if you will, some bold man maneuvers and especially surreptitious actions. You do impress your boss by doing the things by the book of the company. Okay, so you do follow the rules and the regulations of the company. That is because everybody will seek and will stray for um, consistency, reliability and above everything else trust so how your boss can trust you for example if they cannot if they don't know what you do and you and you pretty much present yourself in front of them quite uh, unpredictable same thing goes in terms of a relationship people throughout this cycle will lean more toward a, mu a mutual trust and faithfulness rather than the simple feeling of, of love <clears throat> And finally, at the end, uh, what we do have here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering, and that will be the uh, Devil card. So with the Devil card, that pretty much very well relates to the Ten of Wands at the start and the Six of Cups, because like I said, with the Six of Cups, things that we are to be presented throughout the season, we are pretty much going to enjoy them. The only problem here is going to be what if, what, what happens after that? You know, what, what are going to be the consequences of them? This is going to be the challenge that we need to overcome. And here with the guidance, 
uh, pretty much we need to follow the urges of our souls or rather like we need to follow our hungers and satiate all those hungers if you are hungry for love go out and seek love if you're hungry for job or for for career improvement just go out and start working something we you we all of us are going to have those opportunities so as you can see the uh, season of cancer is going to be a season of growth but we have to put the toes behind it because the ten of wands is only produces results when we do something about it okay when we take the initiation and when we toil and i'm not meaning only performing or, t or giving efforts or kind of like placing efforts i'm talking about toiling behind it okay that 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 looks like a toil to you doesn't it i mean this here with the guy he the guy so the guy toils to keep up everything in check and that is you that is me that is everybody around right So that being said, this was about the cumulative uh, reading for the cancer season. Uh, hello, Tanya. Welcome to the page. Welcome to the stream. Uh, free readings are conducted only in the break. So if you do want your question to be considered, make sure you stay up until the break, the first break, which is going to happen after a four star signs being read. And then everybody is going to ask their questions. And I'm simply going to pick up one of the questions that are asked and I'm going to conduct a, a free reading on the question. <clears throat> Hello, Monica. So let me shuffle and we can start with, uh, let me choose a star sign here. Oh my God. I hope I don't break my ball like that because it's, it's on the edge. So the first star sign is going to be Pisces. Okay, so we do have Pisces here. Uh, you can enjoy my uh, dreadful uh, handwriting here. Okay, so that is Pisces. Hate. You mean you hate me, Gloria? Pisces first again, damn right, Lauren. Oh, you mean hi, okay. <laughs> All right. So you are forgiven then, since you love me. Right, so shuffle, just give me a minute here to have my sip of coffee and we are good to go with the first Pisces star sign this time around. Danny, you're not late, mate. You're just on time, okay? I'm just starting. As you can see here, we are just 18 minutes in, so you are not late. Wow, Magdalena. Okay, so that will pretty much describe how you're going to feel throughout this uh, one month of a season. Right. So, I, as I said, how you're going to feel. There we go. So, we do have the Queen of uh, Cups here with the Four of uh, Wands. And then we do have the Magician. Okay, so those, uh, those three cards, pretty peculiar. So, what we do have, it is a passive enemies. And then we do have passive neutrals. So uh, it's, uh, and as we mentioned here, emotions. So um, you Pisces are gonna be quite dappled, not dappled, but oh my God, what was the word that I was searching for? Um, uncertain, probably, with how you feel about your job, about your boyfriend, for example, or your girlfriend, or about anything that it is going on around. And the reason being, it is that you are going to be uncertain with the longevity of the thing, okay? You are going to be uncertain how long your relationship is going to move on forward. You are going to be uncertain how, your long your, how long your job is going to move on forward. And it is not like, you know, there is something wrong in there. It is just from within. I mean, your, your emotions are going to be like a, uh, like a, a swirling storm that is going from one extreme to the other like completely negligent and, and, and ignorant for it like you don't care up to completely emotional and touchy that if something 
even the slightest thing that doesn't look right you just you know you just burst into tears or you know you start believing into the doom and gloom and so on and so forth now that disruption is created by those two okay and that is the inability to sense um, a, a successful how can i say a successful development that is like because uh, i explained it today into my class okay uh, the um the wants and the cups they don't go they don't go well uh, very well together okay they don't go together very well as a matter of fact they hate each other and i explained why uh, <clears throat> but in generally here that that will be the core reason or the core topic for your um for your psycho pisces or for your season here that you are to feel rather insecure of how long you will be able to maintain your fortune and uh, it does look like however that uh, you're going to be able to maintain it quite uh, for a long time all right that is because the magician comes in place and so if the emotions cannot give you the answer the mind can and the magician as an air element it's all about the mind okay so you have to be confident in your skills and in your knowledge should it comes to career or you should be confident in yourself as a human being uh, in relationship and what I mean as a human being is that if that person doesn't want to be with you for what you are Then they they simply don't have to be around you You know because eventually at the end of the day You're gonna find someone that will be around you for what you truly are and uh, that being said You need to clinch toward your own personal independence and sovereignty rather than you know rely on what this person or that person is telling you, okay? so that is uh, that is how the Pisces season, uh, the Cancer season, uh, is going to affect Pisces here. So be prepared to have a little bit of a uh, how can I say, you know, times of in uncertainty and insecurities uh, at your uh, at your behalf. Right. So let me draw the next um, star sign, and that is going to be Libra. Libra is the next one we have. Okay, so we have Libra. Hello, Nancy. Thank you, Katie. Right, so uh, first one for Libra is going to be the seven of uh, the seven of cups, followed by the Temperance, and afterwards we do have the Magician again. So uh, that is almost the same as Pisces, but in a much more extreme. Uh, how can I say? In a much more extreme case here with Libra, uh, that is forming a passive enemies once again, and after that we do have a passive neutrals. So pretty much Libra are going to be in a much more exaggerated state than Pisces. They will, oh my God, just one second. Now that's better. So uh, they will be, um, uh, like I said, in a much more exaggerated state. So as Pisces are going to feel uncertain and insecure, Pisces are rather going to wait it out. While Libra are going to feel the necessity to do something about it. And for that reason, they will jump into very extreme actions and they're going to take any extreme measures to a point where they will stop listening even to a pretty reasonable and sensible advices. And that is just the tendency, okay? You may not be like that, but it's just your tendency is going to be that you may rush into conclusions, you may rush into actions, you may simply, you know, you may screw yourself around because this is pretty much what's, uh, what happens. Now, if you do remember, uh, as I said, gifts and the blessings in the cumulative reading, which was the seven of cups. Well, here we do have it, but it is jeopardized by the temperance, which in your case, it is that exactly extreme actions and extreme, extreme measures that you're going to make. So instead, you know, of jumping into conclusions prematurely and uh, doing something for the sake of just doing something without having any clear plan, without having any clear determination. In fact, it will be best if you hold your horses 
status for a little bit and whatever action you are to undertake in terms of career or in terms of relationship um, needs, to, needs to be very well um, negotiated if I, or cancelled if you will cancelled in the sense you are cancelling yourself with somebody with someone with somebody you are seeking a cancel with somebody and uh, as well it needs to be well supported with uh, with a solid plan okay it needs to have a consistency and uh, that is all because you don't want to end up disappointed and i do understand that okay but i can assure you that if you jump into a irrational conclusions or hasty pretty premature conclusions and you do actions based on those conclusions at the end you're gonna end up much more disappointing that if you don't do anything about it at all <clears throat> hello katie day yeah i know it, it came today and uh I, I was about to send you an email after the uh after the live stream thank you so much uh and um uh, yeah it's um uh, it's pretty much you're going to have the email shortly about uh, how your reading is going to take place. Right, so that was about Libra. Now moving next, we do have... Uh, that will be Gemini. There. Gemini. Right, so for Gemini, we do have the Five of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the Nine of Swords. And the next one is going to be the Seven of Cups. Okay, so actually that is quite positive for the Gemini. And I do think that the previous live stream that we do had the card, uh, the card said something quite similar. But that is a, a, very, um, a very straightforward reading. And it does point that some failures that Gemini have undergo right now, those failures are not going to be a cause for a setback, although they may think that that is a reason why they are going to fail moving forward into the future. For example, um, if you plan to buy yourself a house and you get denied for a mortgage for one bank, that denial is not going to be a setback for you to get yourself a house, okay? Because another bank is going to give you the money. So pretty much here, uh, that, that is the whole point of this reading for Gemini. There is nothing more to be said really with those cards than their fears uh, from whatever, you know, fears that they're going to get caught, for example, fears that they are going to get fired, fears that they are going to be left stranded, fears that they are going to be abandoned in relationship and so on and so forth. Whatever fears Gemini do have, totally futile and yeah something happened recently to feed those fears but that thing is just a temporary setback not a permanent one and things are gonna get um how can i say in their ordinary way or in their natural way very very shortly uh what is important here with those cards it is not to give up on what you are doing or on what you are after definitely it will work out okay so uh, let me try to, uh, not try, but let me draw the uh, last star sign for the first um, cluster. And that will be Taurus. Right, so for Taurus, we do have the Ace of Swords, which is the first one, followed, wow, look at that, that's very powerful here, guys. So we do have the King of Wands catalyzed from one side and the Hierophant from another. Oh my God, so give me a second here.
So you have been fed lies. Uh, and uh, literally you have been fed lies um, uh, that, were, that were meant to pretty much deviate you from, uh, from a specific thing. No different than uh, if you want to do something, say you know you are a toddler and you say, mom, I want to do this. And your mom says, you can't, you know, you don't have what it takes. And that's a lie. Okay, so such kind of a lies you have been fed. And throughout this season, uh, you pretty much are going to realize that, not just only realize that, but learn the truth, if you will, have an accurate understanding of the situation you are in or rather like a diagnosis over the situation you are in obtain an enormous and i mean an enormous a spiritual strength and strength of mind that is very important because here only the strength of mind can push you forward and by the way mm, i don't know if they can if i can find it uh but there was a really nice post it was a bulgarian post that I planned to translate and to post it into my uh, into the page, and it's called and it starts "Welcome to the 21st Century," where it's a bigger strategy uh, tragedy to lose your phone than to lose your dignity. Welcome to the 21st Century, and it goes on and goes on, and it pick points exactly what is wrong with that society. Okay, but I digress here. So. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, pretty much here, whatever you have been fed lies about that you can't go for, okay, in terms of, for example, love, or because the, the, the lie could be like that, you know, you are you you like a woman, okay, but their friend is telling you that that woman doesn't like you at all, and they are lying, okay, for one or another reason, maybe because they don't like you, okay, but such kind of a lie, you are, it's going to be exposed, and once that lie is exposed, um, Taurus, oh my God, you are going to feel like, you know, the, how can I say, a, a barrier on the parking lot. It's, it's lifted up and your car now can speed up down the road and can reach destination with no problem whatsoever. Because after that, not just only that you will have a, a, a clear you know, a clear path or rather like a green light to do what, whatever you have planned to do so much as, as so long time ago, but also you are going to do it in a very effective measures. Uh, you will know exactly how, where and how uh, uh, and uh, and when, I'm, I'm sorry, how, where and when to, to react or to act and what to do. Uh, because with the uh, knight, uh, with the ace of swords and the king of wands, that speaks for um, accurately manifesting and an ambitious moves that produces very effective results. Okay. Right. So that was about Taurus. Now uh, the first break. Cap, uh, happens and uh, you get to ask your questions guys so one question is going to be picked up and um, a, a professional tarot reading is going to be uh, made for it so if you do want a free reading now is the time for you to ask your question Uh, 
general readings uh just give me a second general readings are not going to uh melinda general readings are not going to produce results for you uh, if you do want a general reading you can go to any astrologer you want uh, in fact there is an astrologer on the website it's pisces moonbeam fantastic person okay uh, it's pretty profound knowledge with astrology and with oracle cards i'm sure that she will be happy to do you a uh, a general reading but tarot is not meant for general readings you know tarot is meant to answer questions or to give a, an outlook or rather like a prediction for specific situations so even if you don't have questions you the very least need to explain me what situation you are in because that is even seen into the classes that i'm leading but the card for example you draw the hierophant that means one thing if you ask for career it means another thing if you ask for relationship it means another thing if you are looking for love it means another thing if you are looking for career if you want to buy a house it means another thing if you want to buy a car it means another thing so you know it's it, it needs to be related to something it cannot go general So about the classes, like I said, now uh, you can purchase the uh, beginner tarot class um, recorded or what I mean is that I'm uh, once you purchase it, I'm going to send you a 12 hours of content, uh, me explaining you the tarot cards and uh, how they stand like I showcase right now in terms of career, love, if you are looking for those things as well and how they stand also into the uh, spread that I, uh, that I'm using to to perform my professional readings so once you finish the class uh you pretty much are sorted out uh to to do your own personal and hopefully as well private readings at the end of the day and additionally to that you get one uh one hour of personal coaching that is one time burn though you you go for the hour you have it only uh, a, a one time okay you can't split it on different partitions Okay, so let me pick up the question. Okay, so we do have a winner here that will be Marnie O'Connell. And Marnie wants to know if she is going to, if he or she, I don't know if that's uh, male or female, because Marnie, I do believe it's uh, gender neutral. So, um, I wants to know if uh, he or she is going to find a, a job that will provide security and the ability to transfer to Florida eventually. I don't know about that, uh, Marnie, because locations are irrelevant for Taro. What I mean is that if you are meant to be successful, you are going to be regardless where you are. Right, so the first one is going to be the Four of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Two of Cups, followed by uh, the High Priestess. And the last one is going to be the Ten of Cups, okay? So those uh, those four. I don't think that the job, but by just looking at those cards, I don't think that the job involves any movement whatsoever. And in fact, uh, you you will not going to need any movement whatsoever as well. For one or another reason let me give you a, a time frame so the time frame is by by the end of february okay so by the end of february next year you are going to be so well situated uh, with the job that you are working that you aren't going to need any move whatsoever okay and not just only with the job but in generally with uh, with the circumstances uh, however, the job itself is not going to come 
through a uh, common owners. What I mean is that if you do hope that you're going to find a job because someone is going to recommend you, you got to guess again because that's not going to happen. Uh, the next thing here that I want to tell you about those cards is that you shouldn't aim a job with a pleasant environment. You should aim a job with a, um, uh, how can I say, a, a tasks or kind of like, yeah, assignments that you can handle. Because at the end of the day, uh, when, whenever we do have the two of cups or the, the three of cups, in fact, in terms of career into the second position of that spread, that pretty much means that you are not there to make friends, you're there to make money. So you should not be concerned is some colleague hates you or is some colleague is speaking behind your back and these kind of stuff. Should you do your job, you do your job, you get your money at the end of the day, you get your salary at the end of the month and that will be the end of it. And uh, pretty much within that time frame, you're going to find a job that will provide. Okay, so that was your question. Will, are you going to find a job that will provide? You're going to find a job that will provide because what the Four of Swords here points, it is that the job you're going to find, not just only going to make you happy and emotionally satisfied and fulfilled from the Ten of Cups at the end, which is the finalization of the cycle. This is how you're going to feel at the end of uh, February next year, but also a four of swords it is where your problems in term of career ends okay that that is pretty much what the card points here so that cycle provides you with the not the opportunity but the circumstances to have your problems in term of career and in term of provision or providing done completed you know overcome or whatever so pretty much uh, that's uh, that's your reading and uh one more thing here uh, judging by the high priestess into the third position of uh, into the third position of the spread, uh, you can pretty much pension yourself there. I mean, you can go in that job for as long as the, for as long as you like. Okay, you should not feel threatened uh, about your place in general. Right. So that was uh, that was your reading. Hopefully, you enjoyed it and you liked it. And now, a couple of minutes, and uh, we are going to move to the next four star signs. Ah, uh, Maria, that's uh, that's my secret. Okay, that's a method that I have developed myself, and probably that method is gonna fall into the hands only to those that participate into the full class that I'm doing. In another full class, I mean um, major arcana and the minor arcanas as well. It will be like a bonus to them. Because that's the piece of because uh, that's the uh, the uh, the the cherry of the cake, you know. Everybody wants to know that. And to be honest, um, it's not always accurate, okay? Because I'm keeping a track of it, and according to the feedback from all of my customers, clients, and so on and so forth. It does have 80, 75 to 80% of success, but I do think that that's a crazy good success, right? You're welcome, Marni. So a couple of minutes and we are moving to the next four star signs. No. 
Yeah, I'm sorry guys that I do need to take a little bit more time. Like I said, it was a, uh, a bit of a uh, busy day today. Uh, I'm in Bulgaria, Katie. For those who doesn't know where Bulgaria is, it's uh, in the European Union, West Euro uh, Eastern Europe, uh, the Black Sea, okay? So we get to the Black Sea. We are, you know, uh, our coast is at the Black Sea. So it's a pretty popular uh, tourist destination for the Europeans because everything is cheap here. As a matter of fact, when I'm talking with my uh, with my assistant about how the things are in Bulgaria, last time she just said, oh my God, I am packing my things. She called her husband and said, you know, uh, we are packing our things. We are moving there, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, the things, it's really cheap. And I will give you a, uh, I will give you a comparison. For example, in England, the very, the bottom line or, 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 or the, the bottom quality of a pack of cigarettes, a pack of cigarettes, it is like seven pounds, I believe, or six pounds 50. And that's ridiculous price because here the, the excellent quality of cigarettes, the very top of the quality of cigarettes, um, it's three dollars and it's really amazing. That is in, um, how can I say, exquisite quality, okay? It's, it's the best cigarette that you can have. Alcohol. Okay, a bottle of um, of vodka, for example, and it's really good quality of a vodka. I know from my friends, um, uh, it costs four dollars, and that is a liter of a vodka. Okay, so it's it's really cheap, and people prefer to come about here for a tourist for a tourism. $32? I was about to choke on my coffee. Oh my God, I'm not coming in Australia. There is no way, okay? There is just no way. Yeah, this is, it's, it's preposterous. Now, this is what we call preposterous, okay? It's, it's just beyond ridiculous. Yeah, it is amazing. It is amazing, Maria. All right, so next one. Well, if you are a European citizen, Maria, you can always hop around, okay? So next one is going to be a query, it's the one that we have uh, missed last time, okay? So we do have a queries here. Uh, so let's uh, shuffle the cards and let's have a look what the, aquar the Aquarius is. Um, No, vaping is uh, vaping is okay. It does it does depend what you are, what kind of a, a liquid you are doing? I am vaping, and I am, uh, and I can say that it is far better than uh, uh, how can I say uh, far better than smoking cigarettes. I'm smoking cigarettes only when I'm driving because uh, vaping in the car it's uh, it may cause a crash. Because you know it's uh, that thing holding it into your hand and all these kind of stuff. While the cigarette, well, when some, when the things go, you know, tense, you can just throw it out the window. Yeah, don't smoke, don't drink, don't go uh, to foreign women or to uh, yeah, kind of like you know, women or man, and just you know, uh, you're good to die. Well, well yeah, it's simple as that. I mean, you can't close yourself for everything. Right, so four Aquarius. Now the first one is going to be the Eight of Wands, followed by the Queen of Wands here that we do have, and the oh, wow, look at that. So uh, that is an example that uh, somebody asked me about. Does it matter in, uh, today in today's class? Does it matter if we do have, for example, a, a domination of say Wands cards? And uh, it does matter if you do read in an Elemental Dignities method, which I'm uh, reading right now, and the cluster of la of wands, or rather like a, uh, a collision of uh, wands, it means a extreme masculine energy, 
or extreme fiery energy. And what that leads is to conflagration. So here with the Aquarius, that cycle is going to be extremely active, okay? Uh, and in fact, here uh, with those two, which are a active supporters, these are active supporters, obviously. So what, what we do have for Aquarius is that they are going to, uh, oh my God, what is happening with my eye? I'm, my eye is itchy. So in this um, in this season, Aquarius will not just only have uh, uh, many openings. And under openings, I don't mean exactly opportunities. These are things that Aqu the Aquarius can get to decide. My God. My eye is really itchy. I'm sorry, guys. So uh, openings under openings, I don't mean... Uh, exactly opportunities because opportunities for example you know to start a new job here we are talking about in openings to um, initiate and an enterprises and not just only Aquarius are going to have those openings but as well Aquarius will have the knack of how to do it right okay so that being said Aquarius can uh, expect to be very active throughout the cycle to accomplish a lot of things in there in terms of career in terms of relationship as well and they're going to have the prerequisites in order to do it so so it's not like they they will have to struggle it is just you know they see the opening they see the opportunity for example a friend calls uh, calls to them and say hey do you know that right now there is a sale on that and, and Aquarius just go there participate into the sale knowing that two days later they can sell it for three times the price so such kind of openings is such kind of an opportunities i am talking about so here aquarius can really tap into their either a acute business sense or to the acute sense of how the human nature works meaning that if you do want to flirt with somebody you will know how uh, and you will make it in an exceptional way now the problem here comes with these two okay which is the eight of wands and the seven of wands that we do have like that and that is when um, how can i say that is when you do not handle very well temptation or rather like you know you are going to be prone to 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 get yourself into high risks, high rewards type of uh, type of enterprises, and by default, Eight of Wands does not shield you from failure. And sometimes, in fact, you know, uh, you may risk everything you got. So it's very important, as well as you are going to have so many openings at your behalf here, Aquarius, throughout this season. It is to be mindful what enterprises you are involving yourself into and only participate into those that you do have a chance to complete. Okay, so in other words, whatever option available comes to you, you have to face it with a clear headed mind because otherwise you do risk everything you got. Thank you, Lauren. Right, so that was Aquarius. Now, uh, moving next. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just as itchy uh, here. So, our next one is going to be Scorpio. I'm funny. Yeah. I'm glad that you're finding me funny, Laura. Wow. I need a sip of coffee. Okay. So contrary to the expected, actually we Scorpio got a, had an excellent card at the start. So cross your fingers, we do have a really good card as a catalyst. Oh my God, look at that. So we do have the three of wands and uh, the four of cups. So what we do have it is a active 
supporters, active enemies, okay? And I will be exceptionally short with this one here, Scorpio. So this uh, this season pretty much is going to present us with the... Um, how do you say it? With a cycle of growth, if you will. Um, so I, I will try to explain it that way. So what we do have it... God damn it. Okay. So what we do have it is those two, okay? And pretty much those two are like, uh, you know, you are sleeping. And so suddenly, you know, some sort of an alarm, like a like a morning alar alarm that wakes you up, and it's the sign that the time of slumber and sleep it is now done over. You no longer have it. Okay, so that is what those two cards here represent, and those two are representing that you are fully prepared for what is coming so that could be the sign of your new relationship that could be the sign of your new job you know but it's just a sign that the time of slumber inactivity and lack of any progress whatsoever it's now over and uh, it's pretty much uh, we as a scorpio are gonna have our cue if you will that it is a completely new option available for us, okay? So it's none of those that we had up until now. It's something a brand new, that uh, it is actually our option to proceed forward and to manifest our, I don't wanna say dream really, but let's say our ideals. So whatever ideals we do have, that uh, cycle or that season, I'm sorry, because that's not a cycle, it's a season. So that season is gonna give us the prerequisites that we need in order to, um, approach uh, this uh, this opportunity so I, I explained that today into the class as well with the three of ones because we do have the ones card and i said here into this reading that we do have what we need that is because we already established the patterns okay we already prepared ourselves for it and uh, for that reason we will be pretty forewarned what you know, what i mean it is that taking on that option available taking on that opportunity uh, will allow us to kind of like first of all piece of the puzzle together and second of all uh, second of all to meet our expectations completely so whatever we do it's it's production or rather like it's it's products are going to meet the expectations of our uh, of our effort so that being said the relationship we ha we are expecting could be manifested throughout this um, season the job that we are expecting can, can be manifested, manifested, oh my God, throughout this season as well. And all that we got to do is just wake up. Okay, We, we got to wake up. That's, that's the whole point. Right, so that was about Scorpio, uh, how much we are in. So we are two signs in. And let's have a look what is going to be the next one. That will be Virgo. Okay, so we do have Virgo here. Well, uh, Nancy, we do wake up by, for example, taking off our butt from the couch. That is how we wake up, okay? When we are said, you know, do you want to go out on a coffee? We don't say, I'm going to think about it. We do say, yes, we, we are going to go on a coffee, okay? That is how we wake up. Yeah, it seems so. Thank you, Katie. We wake up of slumber. Well, Cecilia, um, 
There is a queue for the recorded readings, unfortunately, so the recorded reading cannot be emergency reading, okay? If you go for an emergency reading, you gotta go for a live reading, and live readings are scheduled for the next day from the, from the moment of the purchase takes place. So if you do purchase a reading right now, which is a live reading, we can schedule a reading for, you to, for tomorrow. That is the soonest you can get reading. Okay, so let's see what Virgo are to endure. So we do have the two of wands, accompanied with the ace of wands. And after that, we do have the moon card. All right, so we do have a um, active supporters and then we do have an active enemies, okay? Uh, well, that is going to be a short one for Virgo. It's pretty much uh, Virgo are going to have uh, their hopes um, verified, if I may say it that way. And as well, um, it's it's kind of difficult to explain it. But do you ever had that feeling that, you know, you start something, okay? And because that thing does not produce its results straight away, you are kind of like afraid that you have wasted your time and that you have wasted your efforts. Well, those kind of feelings are no longer be there, okay? Because that uh, season is going to be a season for you for a confirmation that you are doing the right thing. Are you on the right path? That, that is yet, uh, how can I say, that is not yet to be determined because you are still shaping up the means. But what I am saying here, it is that whatever foundations of relationship or of a career you are laying down, those foundations are going to gift you moving forward into the future with really gaining for enterprises. Okay, so uh, for example, if now you are going for an education, that education is um, incorporable, if you will. Uh, for your future career. So you definitely are going to supplement your future career with that qualification. Therefore, this um, season is a great season for you, Virgo, where you learn new stuff, you polish skills as well. And in general, you are uh, ex improving on yourself. Because with the two of ones, I explained that today as well. It is that, yes, you do probably have a good achievement by now, but you shouldn't stop here. But instead, you try to improve on those achievements. And that itself, once again, is going to give you the uh, gaining for enterprises. You do need to make your life much more stable because these two here as a active enemies it is exactly it shows exactly what you need in order to be more confident and that is to work on yourself for example if you are a good swimmer you have to keep working on that swimming thing okay to become better and better because you can become better and better and that is going to boost your confidence if you are a, a tarot reader for example but you do like confidence then you need to keep on doing readings and doing readings so you can boost that confidence it's all about the confidence throughout this uh, throughout this um, cycle guys and the confidence is the only thing that deprives you from gaining your benefits here and uh, should you boost on that confidence benefits are going to come inevitably and on top of it uh, should you start expanding on yourself here or rather like polishing your skills and uh, improving on your knowledge you're also is very likely to how can i say um to uncover many talents or one specific talent that you do have that you have not developed by now and that will be another thing another um, asset to your arsenal of um, of means moving forward into the future in terms of either career or in terms of either relationship Right, so that was Virgo now. The last one from the second four star signs is going to be Leo. So we do have Leo. Okay.
All right, so for Leo, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Moving next is going to be the Six of uh, Wands. And after that, what we do have it is the uh, Nine of Pentacles, like that. Okay. So we do have a, a passive neutrals and then we do have passive supporters. Um, how do I say it? Um, it's pretty much what the card points for you. It is that this um, this season is going to be more like a lesson that you need to learn, but no one but does it by themselves. Okay, it's just sometimes you gotta trust the healthy sense of trust, if you will, and go by what, for example, your supervisor is telling you, what your partner is telling you, or what your coworkers are telling you, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Going by yourself, it is just going to create, you know, unnecessary tension either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship as well. And under going by yourself, I mean, is going by your own opinion, disregarding what the opinion of the others is. Now, you need to know that that is going to be a, a cycle that will uh, accommodate uh, big support through your, that will support your development, okay? Big support of your development. So people pretty much wanna see you better. People pretty much wanna see you successful. It is just, you know, they also um, want you to do it the right way. And that's why they will try to guide you, all right? And their guidance, it could be more or less a criticism at a particular standpoint. But that criticism, should you listen to the criticism itself, uh, you will be very successful by it. So the, uh, the the season itself predisposed for rather, how can I say, a quite of a, a profound conversations that is going to be talked about the core of the issue, uh, either in career wise or either relationship wise, and as well quite of a, a cooperation in between you and your partner, in between you and your coworkers as well. And the bottom line of that is that because whatever you are going against or whatever you are doing. But in terms of career, like a project, like a task, or in terms of relationship, like a plan for development in your relationship, it's a pretty big deal, okay? That, that, that thing is actually your leap into development. And everybody around you that really wishes your well-being, they want to see you doing it right. And that's why they will try to hold your hand, even at sometimes if they have to squeeze your hand tight, okay? And you are not going to like that squeeze, but it is because they don't, uh, kind of like strand you somewhere or rather like uh, lose the grip over you know the good performance that you are to do uh, the six of wands next to the three of pentacles it is just uh, you know <clears throat> referring to the ignorance you may uh, you may display here where you think that you know it all but you don't know how wrong you are in that okay just uh, just saying Well, Magdalena, that, that's entirely up to you to decide. I mean, you feel free to do whatever you uh, you find fit. Uh, it's just, you know, at the end of the day, you may not find yourself at the place you want to be. <clears throat> right, so that will be, uh, that finishes uh, the next uh, cluster of star signs. And now you guys can ask your questions, okay? So the second pick is uh, coming up, and uh, yeah, if you do want a, a free reading with me, now is how it, this is how. Oh my God, this is the way you get it to so ask your questions right now into the uh, post, into the comments of the post. Well, Melinda, in regards to your question, uh, Taro cannot make decision for you, okay? It's just, it can't. Because at the end of the day, well, it can, but at the end of the day, you are the one who, who, is, who, who is going to have to, uh, you know, suffer the consequences of that decision. So I would rephrase that question.
Right, so we had one for our career beforehand, so let's choose one relationship-wise, okay? Um, So we do have one uh, submitted by Terry Jones. Uh, will I ever find love again? Straight away I can tell you, yes you will. I mean, of course you will. Love is everywhere. But let's have a look about intimate love, okay? I hate when the cards are so stiff, it's just making a riffle, it's, it's pretty much very difficult, almost impossible, especially when the cards are so, uh, so many. Right, so Terry, uh, first one here is going to be the Prince, the Knight of Swords, in this deck the Knights are Kings. Uh, in the traditional, followed by the Eight of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ten of Wands. And the last one is going to be uh, the Page of Wands. So, long story short, Terry, you're going to find it elsewhere. What I mean is that uh, you don't know yet the person that you're going to find the love or, or whatever you are asking about here, okay? So you pretty much need to be open for anything new. But the thing is that um, well, I don't know how to say it. The thing is that I don't want to say you're not ready yet, but it's like you still have what to accomplish and what to learn before you can actually successfully manifest the true love that comes about. So pretty much you will become aware uh, what kind of uh, what kind of a person you wanna you wanna get yourself involved in because right now for what it seems uh, you don't have the right criteria. It's pretty much those criteria are always gonna stumble you upon guys that will hurt you at the end. So you pretty much need to restructure your criteria about the man that you or, or, or about the archetype of people that you wanna be with. And those criteria are going to be restructured about the start of February next year. Okay, so we do have because what the card points it is the uh, pretty much not no it's not the start of February, it's the mid of February next year. Okay, which is more or less the same. Up until that point, though, um, it's uh, very important not to budge out. What I mean, budging out, it is that uh, uh, make no mistake, you're gonna, you're going to have some people that I will try to approach you, okay? And uh, many or some of them are gonna be quite convincing, in fact. And uh, you may be willing to make some compromises uh, to, you know, to be with these people. You do not make compromise. That's uh, that's the whole po that's the whole point by not budging out. I mean, if that if that person is not agreed to your terms, then nothing can happen in between you two. That's it, it is all about what your terms are demanding. Okay, not their terms, at least for the time being. And once the middle of February comes about, and you have pretty clear idea what kind of an individual you want to be with, then you are going to find the true love. Okay. So you do have quite of a walk to do, girl. I mean, because the middle of February, it is not where you find, when you find the true love. 
it is when you understand what the true love is and then you start seeking for it and how long it's going to take for you seeking for it uh, well i can't say you know but the very least that's a sign that you're going to find it sooner or later Right, so a couple of minutes, uh, we are going to move to the last four star signs. That's, uh, that's one way of, uh, of getting it, Katie. Yeah, that's one way of realizing what the true love is. Hello, Susan. Hello, Helen. How are you doing? All right, so let's move to the next one, which is going to be, we have Capricorn. What is weight error? Right, so for Capricorn, we do have the Queen of Swords. Moving next is going to be the Knight of Cups. And then we do have the Two of Swords here. Okay. So funny thing, um, I had the reading with this uh, with this woman, <laughs> and you know I started to make a sentence, and she said to me, "Don't you dare saying patient that I have to be patient." Okay, I hate that word. I have been patient for such a long time. Okay, but unfortunately for you, Capricorn, that that is exactly what you got to do here, because it does look like that. Um, you know, you are uh, you are going to be uh, in a bout of a situation where you have to decide how what to do and how to act or how to react on a, a particular. Thing. You know, it could be a business offer, it could be a relationship of, oh, oh my God, relationship offer. It could be, for example, a proposition and etc. etc. Now, the thing is that whenever that thing comes about, um, uh, you, any, any decision is going to be either equally accurate or either equally bad. Okay, so all the, all, all, all the top of your head, 
you won't be able to pretty much say definitively yes i am all in no i don't want to get in it at all now um that's the thing with this reading it is that whatever that decision regards about it's a pretty significant okay uh, because it will offer you or rather like it will be a significant portion of the breakthrough uh, that you do require or the breakthrough that you are aiming for because with the queen of swords pretty much this is and all about this is where you push your things through and you become and you become aligned with the uh, with the predicaments or rather like the plight that you are trying to solve because everybody has a plight that is trying to solve right and whatever you you are up to that decision will play a major role of it now the thing with the season itself it is that um, you don't have to rush it I, in fact the more you stall the better because eventually at the end the right decision will become obvious to you okay so if you do have any benefit of the doubt in there you do not make your mind you do not make up your mind only when you are a certain a hundred percent secure so you don't involve any risk whatsoever in it only then you make up your mind in regards to should you give a chance to that person or should you uh, start that job or should you create that deal and so on and so forth okay because uh, with the knight of cups next to the queen of swords once you say yes or no nothing much you can do about it okay things are not gonna depend on you at all and you pretty much are giving your destiny if you will to a certain extent into the hands of something or somebody that is because the knights of cups it is about a personal performance and the results which are a fruit or rather like a product of that personal performance and as a neutral to the queen of swords those results are going to be neutral to the um or kind of like those efforts are going to be neutral to the result itself meaning that they will not matter i mean you can you can try to do whatever you want but it won't matter at the end of the day so that's why you gotta take your time and as a matter of fact you have to wait just as much long as the right decision for you become obvious right next one that will be sagittarius So for Sagittarius, we do have the Ten of Cups, followed by, wow, look at that, guys. I mean, we do have the uh, the Hermit. Oh, my God. That will be the Ace of Cups. Wow. So those who knows me, you know, and those who are, uh, how can I say, those who pretty much are following my work, they do know very well that I so much hate saying true love and all these kind of stuff. But it appears that that will be quite of a significant one. And as, the, uh, as the Katie said, you know, she does have hers into her children. Okay, So it doesn't need to be a, uh, a romantic love. But pretty much is going to be a significant one. Or in other words, what I love to say when we do have this combination because that is probably the third time that i'm seeing that combination in our live streams okay it is that whatever happens to you sagittarius throughout this season you're gonna love it okay it just is gonna be the thing you need uh that is because we do have we, we do have all of the circumstances aligned perfectly here with those cards um and pretty much is going to lead you to a settlement so you can expect you you can take it that way that this cycle is going to give you this substantial 
uh, resolution or rather like an unfoldment you have so much required in order to settle down with your family with your career with your relationship with your husband or your kids whatever okay so uh, as well you can expect um, Sagittarius that many of uh, your concerns in terms of you know for example how you're going to provide for example how you're going to pay your mortgage and these kind of stuff you know concerns that you are trying to solve on daily basis they will simply stop existing because they will not ha gonna have any relevance whatsoever no different than for example your concern that you're single and suddenly you know you find someone to date with and to uh to you know to become in a relationship with and that concern of being single gone you know it's it's just it, it's not there anymore so that will be a fantastic side. Uh, really, I don't have anything more to say about you. It's pretty much you not just only going to see the light of the end of your tunnel, but you're also going to find a way to see, to, to reach that light at the end of the tunnel. So pretty much uh, this cycle will offer you with a really substantial wealth. And under wealth, I mean, not just only money, that could be as well love, health, you know, family, friendship, etc., etc. Hopefully you do realize how fortunate you are and you do what it takes or you are prepared to do what it takes to sustain it okay but um, in any case uh, this cycle is going to be very happy for you uh, this season I'm sorry you're gonna be very happy your reality your daily reality is going to transcend and it's going to be amazing and nothing nothing literally is gonna feel the same and it's gonna look the same if you will when seen through the overflowing joy and when I said overflowing joy for some is going to be a mind of a broken heart because with that these catalysts here to the ten of cups that literally it is when you know you have a broken heart or a spot in your heart that was broken and now there is a new circumstance or a new thing new enterprise that exactly fills up that empty spot of your heart and it simply overflows it with joy so even if you had say a really rough breakup recently and you feel really bad about it broke uh, heartbroken about it uh, that heartache is not going to be uh, sticking for you for a much longer right so that was about sagittarius now moving next we do have that will be cancer okay so next one is going to be cancer and the last one is going to be aries so we do have cancer and the last one is going to be aries okay let me sip one more time Thank you, Katie. Yeah, this is one way to see it, uh, to look at it, April. Saving the best for the last. All right, so Cancer. Now the first one is going to be the Hangman, okay? Moving next, we do have the Seven of Cups. And the last one is going to be the Nine of Swords. Okay, so those uh, those three cards for you guys. Uh, I will need a minute or a second, if you will. So, Cancer... As much as I want to say, uh, that is not going to be really active uh, season for you although it is your season um, I am being in active season that doesn't mean that it's going to be a boring season as a matter of fact what happens here guys it is that you are gonna just lay back 
com comfortably and enjoy the show okay because uh, with uh, with those two that we do have here or with those three should I say it is that you have done your end of the bargain okay uh, you have done whatever you could have and now it's time for you to just allow the universe to do its part um, from now on just give me a second yeah now it's time for you to trust the universe to do its job and to do its part now the thing with the hangman and especially next to the seven of uh, to the seven of cups it is that the results of uh, the uh, the uh, the results of your um, anticipation or waiting or wh whatever you call it are going to severely surpass your expectations okay in the sense of that you're expecting the things to uh, end up in a good way or they're going to end up in an exceptional way uh, that's the point but that is only if you maintain your calmness and you do not interfere the course of the universe because the hangman hands down it is uh, the card that it is one it is one of the strongest cards reflecting to the uh, stigma that the universe works in mysterious ways okay and uh, you pretty much need need to trust the universe now it's very likely that you are going to enter into the cycle starting from tomorrow uh, yesterday or today i don't remember uh in not a good spot okay and you may not be happy of how the things are unfolding but whatever you try to do in order to fix anything around it will be rather futile because the hangman especially next to the seven of cups it is a like a uh, 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 like a, uh, a a breakthrough and simultaneously a test of fate okay and it all comes to that how calm and how patient you are and i hate that word as well patience but in any case you know how how calm you are to allow you know your seeds that you have placed to bear fruits because with the seven of cups next to the hangman the card literally means that your seeds are not a, a fantasies but they are a growing thing okay they just need their time and having the seven of uh, the nine of swords next to the hangman or in next to a neutral card to the nine of swords pretty much means that whatever fears you do have they are completely in vain so they have no soil and they are a futile so if you are afraid that you're going to lose your job stop being afraid of if you are afraid that you're going to lose your relationship stop being afraid of it's highly unlikely that that is going to happen if you do not provoke it to happen okay so uh, you are going the only way you're going to lose your job it is if you start trying to save your job there is nothing to save okay your job is perfectly fine same thing it is about relationship okay okay so that was about uh, stay out of the drama yeah kind of like that Leslie so last but not least we do have Aries Yeah, can only get better. That's one way uh, you can see it. So for Aries, we do have the world, followed by the Two of Pentacles, and we do have the Two of Swords. So those uh, those three cards. And uh, it's, um, it's well it depends. Okay, uh, literally, I it points that whatever hopes you do have for to resuscitate or reconciliation, it's not gonna happen. At least not within that uh, that season, guys, with the world card and with the two of swords next to it, especially. Okay, so the time for making decisions or time for waiting the things, you know, to kind of like boil out over. Uh, pretty much what those cards here, or what that season for you is going to be, is to settling scores or rather like a resigning humbling yourself in regards to the past events recent past events and then identifying uh, pretty much new perspectives for yourself 
like settling the score with your ex-girlfriend and identifying the next person of interest, like settling the scores with the previous project, identifying the next project, okay? Settling the scores with your previous job, identifying the next job. It's all about that. Now with the two of pentacles next to the world, it does look like that you're gonna be open for way more um, uh, variety. So how can I say it? Way, uh, it's kind of like you're the, uh, the palitra, you know, of options available that you are gonna uh, that you are gonna have as a uh, assumption here, or rather like as a um, under consideration was the expression that I was searching for. That you're gonna have under consideration is going to be far far wider than what you had under consideration beforehand, and therefore that will allow you to pretty much, you know, try to get yourself into a much more different and interesting and better job in general to get to uh, to start getting to know a much more different and in general better person than the previous one. So that being said, instead of, you know, mourning about, you know, what you could not resuscitate, you should actually focus yourself on uh, on the future moving forward and what you can get from the future itself. Because what I like to say in those kind of cases um, very easily is that yesterday is yesterday, guys. And if you try to recapture it, the only thing that you are going to do from it is just lose tomorrow. Okay, so pretty much uh, that's that. So, yeah, okay, so that was about Aries. Now, uh, the last pool is going to happen. So, uh, the last three reading right now and you can input your questions and i'm going to make a pick of those questions uh once again i want to remind you that uh, the beginner star classes are now uh for a sale at will meaning that once you purchase the class or the course you get a 12 hours of recorded content in my explanations um over the uh, major arcana and how to interpret them in terms of career in terms of relationship and as well you know in terms of looking for a career in terms of looking for a relationship as well and how they particularly stand into the spread that i'm using and i'm using that spread here okay when i conduct a free reading i am using that very same spread that i'm going to showcase into the classes um and uh, on top of it you get a one hour personal coaching with me uh, which is a one hour burn though, okay? So just be mindful of that. And when you go for that hour, just come prepared with a, a lot of questions. <clears throat> what do you mean are you protected, Magdalena? I do remember it. I do. Well, I'm not competent in that particular field. I just, you know, gave you a kind of like, not, not exactly guidance, but let's say direction and pretty much I, I can't I, I, I can answer it, but it may not be 100% accurate, so. All right, so we do have one that refers to finances, and I think that that is going to be a pretty good uh, closure to us. And the question was given by um, Katie Reagan, and the question here, will money get easier? So let's have a look.
So we do have the Queen of Cups, the Aeon here, and then we do have the Princess of Wands, or that is the Page of Wands. And the last one is going to be the Chariot in pretty much what the card point is that you are going to manage, okay? Easier, I cannot really say, but there will be some sort of a supplementation here or, or supplements into your finances that will allow you to manage with the finances and the real propels or kind of like propellation or propelling yourself forward in finances happens, uh, just give me a, a second here. Happens at the mid of December this year, okay? So mid of December, it is where you are going to, how can I say, um, it's not like doing some stuff, but really being able to cash in on your personal performance. So that could pretty much speak for some sort of a bonus. It could speak as well for some sort of a raise, but it's not going to be a long-term one, okay? And that's why whenever you are able, uh, Katie, to cash in on it, uh, you will have to make it worth its while, so investment or something like this, okay? So we do have a temporary, just a temporary improvement for the time being, but after that, you know, it will depend how you, how you use that thing to improve your, um, your monetary status, if you will, will define what your next cycle is going to be. But if you are hoping that the things are going to happen on their own accord, what I mean is that, you know, out of nowhere, money are going to come to you. That's not what, hap what's, what happens here. In fact, those cards are pointing that you should keep your job because that will be the best. That will be the best source of income for the next at least half a year. And additionally to that, you should take any opportunity whatsoever for a private job. You're going to have such, okay? You're going to have such an opportunities to uh, conduct a private job. So uh, that being said, um, that is a, uh, interesting. That, so Katie, that is, your, that is the answer to the question. And so let's, um, that is an interesting a, uh, question that Magdalena submitted. So she was asking, is she protected? And let's, uh, let's try to answer that. That will be the last one. So we do have the five of uh, pentacles and uh, well, what I'm going to talk about right now, guys, involves witchcraft, okay? Uh, because I have to be a bit competent in it, so at least know how it works so I can conduct, you know, uh, kind of like readings and all these kind of stuff because you can't be incompetent into something that you are making your job of in terms of because, you know, a, a fortune telling it kind of has witchcraft involved i mean cleansing methods and uh, cleansing cards and all these kind of stuff it's all about witch, witchcraft so what we do have here into this card it's a a pentacle okay so we do have a turn over pentacle so pentacles are two types you do have upright pentacle which is with the ray or kind of like the, the arrow pointing upwards which is a protective pentacle, okay? That is when you want to protect yourself. So, you're not protected, okay? What we do have here is called a banishing pentacle. That banishing pentacles, it is when you do have your channels open and you do have the power to do things, okay? So you are not protected, you are not affected. That's what the card points. Okay, so you are not affected and therefore you do not have anything to be protected from. Because pretty much the banishing pentacle means that you have banished whatever or whatever negative influence you had on was banished.
All right. So I hope that that satisfies uh, your your question. And with that being said, that will conclude uh, today's live stream. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And um, thank you so much for your understanding as well. I was a bit uh, exhausted today, but nonetheless, uh, we got it to the end. So once again, if you do want a personal uh, reading with me, you can go to my website, which is listed here into the post. And from there, uh, from the very front page, you can choose a service based on your uh, needs and your budget as well. And as soon as you place the purchase within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you, giving you an explanation how the uh, reading is going to take place. So yeah, and don't forget about the uh, live courses. So if you do, or the tarot classes, if you do like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn and you want to understand the same way how I do it, uh, you can purchase the beginner's tarot class. It's a great way to start from. <coughs> and for it, you get a 12 hours of content, a tarot lectures, and as well a one hour, a uh, personal coaching with me as well. Whenever you feel ready to get the, the personal coaching, it doesn't really uh, matter. It doesn't have to be uh, straight away. So yeah, that being said, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. It was an honor for me to be your host tonight and we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.